If you're watching this right now, anybody at home, don't be sorry. Everything that happens happens for a reason. Man, when you follow your heart, you always win, no matter what it is. Lately, I'm working at combating depression, combating suicide attempts, people that want to commit suicide, combating bullying. I'm a designer, I'm a lifestyle curator. I'm just big on that, like e emotional intelligence, being addicted to self-improvement. Like that's my thing, man. like learning how to surrender. I know I'm so great, but at the same time, I'm only like a little piece on the board, taking myself out of the equation and looking at how we affect each other as a whole. Because when I say I'm great, we great. In order for me to see greatness in somebody else, I got to see greatness in myself. I operate out of the spirit of love. Everything I do out of love. Even if you play, I'm just love you to death. But it's, it's all love with me. Without being tested, you never know that your true strength or your true inner strength. Whether it be psychologically, whether it be mentally, physically, or emotionally. You gotta test yourself and always push yourself so you know how truly strong you really are. I always been a sacrificial lamb and I ain't even playing victim. I know I'm all to deal with. I know I don't communicate for fear of people judging me or for fear of you taking my vulnerability and using it against me. I don't get close to people for fear of you taking my loyalty and using it against me because I could be honest with you, every time I went to jail, it was for somebody else. Every time I went to prison was the best time. It was the best thing because I always got greater through my isolation. Like learning? Through isolation, you, you elevate. When you isolate, you elevate because you're at one with yourself, you're in tune with yourself. You're not being overly stimulated with social media, you're not, none of that, you just really just with yourself. And that oneness, you become godlike in a sense. I live life at an accelerated pace and I did have positive male reinforcement in my life, even though a lot of the males in my life made a lot of the wrong decisions, but the intentions was pure. Because that's all they knew, they ain't had no choice but that. And like I say, big brother, don't get it twisted. I'm not perfect. I make mistakes every day. I break down, I get angry. I do all of that. Everybody do that, but I have ways of dealing with it. Let's just say this. Kevin Gay says things that people are afraid to say. Doing better than what I used to be doing because this is a continuous journey. Like, it ain't never gonna stop. Like, it don't. I might have a bad day tomorrow. I might say, oh, I ain't go crazy. Right. But we still gonna keep going. Like I tell people, healing is a journey. You don't just heal in one session. Yeah. You gotta always put in the work. Like I ain't supposed to be sitting here keeping self inventory while I'm talking to you. Right. But I do that because I got to. Cause I'm human. And I don't judge people because I know I ain't got no room to judge nobody. We just think less of ourselves, but I ain't made a bottle of myself. I never do no more negative self-talk. I never doubt myself, beat myself up for past mistakes. And what's been helping me when I do my self inventory checks, like any mistake, like you ever made a mistake and you think back and you kind of cringe, like, man, I should have did. I go back and forgive myself. Yeah. Cause I like to exhibit emotional intelligence with anything that I'm dealing with in life. Okay. Yeah, I, li I like emotional intelligence because I was just reading that every time we have an emotion, it's related to a chemical release in our body that causes that emotion that we're experiencing at the time. So instead of asking me, why am I feeling like this? How I'm feeling? Why am I experiencing this emotion? It helps you navigate emotional intelligence. Like if somebody disrespect me, did he really disrespect me? Was it an imminent threat? What morals or principles did I compromise by him doing what he did? Like I asked myself, why was it triggering? Is it something that happened in my past? Mm -hmm. is, it past, is, is it a past traumatic reaction as opposed to a response? So it's just about emotional intelligence for me and keeping that self inventory. Cause a lot of times we don't understand. We don't understand busy. We don't understand that. We don't understand emotional detox. And I'm not gonna say I let bad experiences frame me. Like I, I learned from somebody don't change who you are, change who you good to. But my thing is, I just do it in a broader spectrum now, so I don't hone in on just one individual. Ooh. But if I, I done had people around me that I done gave them the game, I like really gave them the game. And like, I, I'm super proud of them, whatever, whatever. But sometimes some people can love you so much 
they could love you so much that their pure existence will be shattered if you don't disappear. They got people like that. Like they can love you so much, emulate everything you do so much, but by you still existing, it shatters who they want to be. And it's been like that my whole life in my neighborhood, not the cop, been in the streets my whole life. So I got a bunch of like people that y'all watch me do these things in the streets and emulated me and everything that y'all do. From accent to walk, talk, everything. Right, right. I cry three, four times a day, I don't care. I done been through so much past traumatic experience that we suppress. As men, we have to be so tough all the time that we never release. It's been years of this. I've been through the worst of the worst. Because you know? I always looked at having a family like winning. Right. That's how I always looked at that, like, wife, children, that's winning to me. Like, having a million multiple females, that was never winning to me. That's the person that I've always been was family and children. Like, that's how I was raised, kind of old-fashioned. So. Even in my situationships, I end up, this is my first time saying this, I'm just saying it because I'm in front of you. Right. Even with a woman that I'm dealing with, I kind of deal with her as if like, she my significant other or my partner, like, like because that's when I was looking for that love in all the wrong places. Before I start putting that love back into myself, it's so easy for me to pour into other people. And when I do finally pour into myself, I kind of feel wrong for doing so. And one of the biggest things about me I had learned how to just laugh at myself. Cause I used to operate out of the field what people think about me or what they gonna say. I like, Kevin, you're funny. And I just laugh at myself now. I, I used to be afraid to make mistakes in front of people. Try to try to make every answer sound politically correct. And I like, no, man, I'm living life. People aren't perfect. People are people. People feel real emotions, have real thoughts. It's okay to have fun. It's okay to loosen up. It's okay to get. This is how I live it. Um, you don't take a chance. You ain't had a chance. You're making a plan to lose. Right. Took an advantage to pay the back. I made an advantage to move. I know how to stand and greet a man whenever he walk in the room. Because it make me yeah. feel good to give another man that respect. The world isn't as it is. It's as we see it. It's as we see it. We are reflections of one another. Your spirit is already holding. Right. Out of five billion sperms, you was the one that made it. And if you stop evolving, then you die. Yeah, you gotta keep growing. You gotta keep growing. If you stay stagnant, you you stop growing, and anything not growing is dead. When you leave, the only thing that be left, the only thing left that you leave behind is your name. So, I rather a good name over multiple riches and things of that nature. Best things in life are really free. It's just it's once we change our perspective, that's when miracles really start to happen in our lives.